Okay YouTube, so you've probably seen a few videos on this car already, it's the same 2007 Acura TSX. I just wanted to give a full, a little bit of update as to where I'm at with this car. So I went ahead and I did the headlight tinting, I did it myself. The first time I tried it I failed completely, this is my second attempt at tinting. It wasn't too bad, it's not perfect, but I went ahead and um, did it. There are some videos on how to do it. I use a heat gun, I'm going to show you that gun later, um, as well as, you know, just regular, a spray bottle with some soap and water in it. <clears throat> so I tinted the headlights, um, I tinted the fogs, um, I also tinted the side marker thing, and I tinted the rear tail lights, of course. All right, so that's that. I've also upgraded my rotors. These are the EBC brake rotors. Um, the back disc pad is still genuine Acura disc pads. Didn't change those, but these needed to be changed. So I used the EBC red, you can see the red thing here, and also EBC slotted rotors. Really good bite to those, I like them. So I have my EBC decal. I've had already done an engine air intake, I think you've seen a video on that. And the DC Sports header. Not header. Yeah, it is a header, right? Yeah, it is a header. That exhaust header. Did that. So, so the project today is plastic dip. I'm going to dip the rims. So, my rims have a lot of curb rash on it. Um, outside of that, it's fear. But they do have a lot of curb wash. So I'm going to dip it and I'm hoping, I'm going to dip all of them, uh, and I'm hoping after that it will look better. So this is a stock rims. Um, I'm going to take out the center cap. I'm not dipping the cap and I'm not dipping the lug nuts. So let's see how it looks after. I'm dipping everything else. And what am I going to use to dip it? Well, of course, um, I'm going to wash the rims thoroughly, clearly. Um, so wash the rims. I've already loosened all my nuts. Insert dirty joke right there, sorry. I've all, already loosened all the lug bolts. There we go, let's work with that. All right, I'm gonna jack the car up. I'm gonna put it on these jack stands. I'm gonna take the tires off. I'm gonna wash them thoroughly. Um, and then I'm gonna begin my plaster dip. So what colors am I using? So my car is a carbon gray. That's the color it has. And I'm going to be dipping with this plastic dip thing. I think this is dark grey as well as the silver metalizer. So um, I think I did overkill actually. I did, I'm sure I did. I have uh, I have five five dark gray and three metalizer I'm estimating I really think I did overkill I'm estimating for my rims I only need four and two that's my estimate I plan to do five coats of gray and three coats of the metalizer then we see how it works after that um, so I'm gonna jack it up the one thing I'm gonna use also is my heat gun after I dry it completely I'm going to be drying it again with the heat gun to make sure you get rid of every single moisture. So that's it. I'm not going to make a video while I'm doing it. I'm just going to give you an update as to when it's done. Alright? Cool YouTube. See you later. Okay, so this is after two coats. Two seconds. The second coat. Um, you might not be able to see it clearly. But I have a lot more coats to go, I just wanted to give an update. Maybe this angle is better, I don't know. So I'm gonna give it from both angles. Can I tell you which angle is better? It's all dark to me. Yep, so that's the second coat of the dark grey. The dark grey. I'm gonna give you again in case you forgotten. So what I'm using is the color at the top. I don't know if it does say 
dark gray on it but I'm sure that's what I bought and then this is going to be next um, I am using a gun I am using a gun just to let you know bought this on Amazon it was five bucks can gun or something all right so that's it keep you posted I do plan to do um, six coats of the dark gray and then three coats of the silver making nine coats overall okay again another update this is after four coats um, I'm not totally not sure how many coats I'm going to do <laughs> yet um, the past today but I think the more you do the better so um, I'm at four now I haven't rotated the reasons yet you know you're supposed to rotate it 180 degrees so you can hit a different angle I'm going to rotate it now so I'm guessing I'm going to do another four coats of the gray before I start with the pearlizer <sighs> yeah maybe it's overdoing yeah it could be but I mean I already bought the dips so what am I going to do put it on and not use it nope so yeah four coats oh I did 10 minute wait time between the first and then I dropped it to eight minutes it's very hot I figure I don't need to wait 10 minutes so I'm doing eight minutes in between coats um, I'm not going to quote and tell you that that's the accurate thing to do I'm just telling you that's what I'm doing it's a very hot day today I think eight minutes sufficient good all right so I'm finished with the base coat this is nine coats of the, of the dark gray and then I'm going to paralyze it so sorry about the shadows hope you can see it this is after nine coats get in as close as I can make sure you label your not label make sure you remember where you put your rim so you can put them back on the same um, wheel same section of the car so I set up my wheels you can do whatever you want I did front left front right rear left rear right so when I'm reinstalling the wheels they're going back in that same order but they are rotation purposes of course I want to keep that all right so that's it next is pearlizer or the silver metalizer I think that's what it's called Metalizer. Let me, let me double check it. Yep. It's a metalizer. I don't think I have a double L for metalizer. Hmm. Whatever. Alright, so that's that. That's next. Alright. Keeping you guys updated. This is after the first um, coat of the metalizer. Maybe I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm going to give it from the other angle because I think the other angle. Is always better so metalizer coat one you can you can see slight glistens in it um, I hope you can see I'm gonna just switch up angles maybe one of them will start to sparkle I can't see it from looking through the, the screen or the tab you can definitely see it looking directly at it um, so this is coat number one. I think I'm going to build it up to three or four coats. Could go five. All right, so I think this is the finished product. This is nine coats of gray, six coats of plaster dip. Sorry, six coats of metalizer. I think this is it. Um, I think plaster dip takes four full hours to dry fully or cure. After that, I'm gonna peel off the, the outside edge, um, and then that should be it. Um, it has a it has a really nice look to it. Actually. Yeah, you can still see the gashes in my rim. Not that I expected those to go, but. It's not as obvious or as pronounced. You can go back to the start of the, the video, you see what they look like before. Um, as I said, it's 
not going to fill in those gashes but um, it's not as noticeable so yeah um, I decided to put by the center cap in once I realized what the metalizer was doing it's it's clear when it was giving this metal sheen I realized I had to put the cap in at that time otherwise I didn't think it would look uniform to continue and then put the cap in after so the caps weren't in clearly when I was doing the grey but I put them back in after I did the first coat of the metalizer and realized what it's doing so I say you know what I put my cap in so that it gets a part of the metalized um, of it um, all in all I think I like it that's it so the last bit after this is to um, show you what it looks like when it's on the car that's it all right so this is the finished product uh, it's in shade right now I'm probably going to do another video with it in direct sunlight it is it in shade then put another one with it in direct sunlight this is the dark grey as I said with a silver metalizer um, that's how it looks on the car from a distance yeah one more video in direct sun and then I'm doing a final conclusion it's actually lighter than I thought it would be the dark grey yeah the next thing is to do those calipers I want them black yeah I don't like the bright blue I mean the red this part I think it's fine just a little piece of red right here but I'm gonna cover those calipers in black paint for another time so that's it I'm gonna do one more walk around when I'm in direct sunlight then put these videos together make an edit and post cool well, so this is the last video this is it in direct sunlight you can see well for me I can see the shimmers of the silver metallic I can see the shimmers of the silver metallic I'm not so sure which angle is better for you but I can see the shimmers on the silver metallic on each of them maybe you can see it. it's kind of subtle very subtle but that's the that's it in sunlight that's it nothing further remember this is dark gray and silver metallic or metallizer silver metallizer <laughs>